Thomas earlier this week. We talked, uh, we're going to have some uh, guests with us talking about uh, Kirby Strong and the race that's going to be going on tomorrow night at Macon Speedway. We talked to Adam yesterday. We talked to Nikki yesterday. And today we bring in Mark Crone, who is here on behalf of Kirby Strong and the Victory Junction Gang. And he's going to talk. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Brent, for having me today. I appreciate it, buddy. So you, you've been helping out and creating different ways to uh, add to the benefits of both of these programs by T-shirts. Yeah, I had an idea to buy a, buy a T-shirt and see if I could get a bunch of drivers to sign it. Well, wow, we Not just regular uh, Saturday night, Friday night drivers either. You're talking about some big names. Yeah, we have a celebrity, um, but we'll back up with the first man that signed it. Mr. Randy Huffman at Maple Speedway. I have the very first t-shirt right here. Yeah. As you can see beside me in my audience at Chef TV. Uh, this shirt was signed by him, Randy Huffman. Uh, he drives a Mustang Sportsman class. I met him down at Maple Speedway. I said, buddy, you got a Mustang. I'm going to let you sign this shirt first. Then I had a trip planned to North Carolina. I went over to the 30th, 31st NASCAR Day Festival. And I finished second in the car show, and Mr. Richard Petty signed the T-shirt. The Richard Petty. The, the king himself signed it. I did a video earlier uh, on my timeline on uh, uh, Mark Crone on Facebook. And uh, then Luke Duke from the Dukes of Hazzard signed it. Tom Wopat. Yeah, Mr. Right. Tom Wopat, Luke Duke from the Dukes of Hazzard. And then I brought it back over here to Illinois from North Carolina. And uh, Mr. Ken Schrader signed it. Uh, Bobby Sargent was in on an autograph session over in Lincoln, Illinois. And then I uh, got Mr. Kenny Wallace to sign it. And then just yesterday, Mr. Bobby Sargent himself signed it down there at the Office of Track Enterprises. Thank you, Bobby Sargent. Well, so, so you pretty much got everybody from uh, the Make It Speedway team to autograph that shirt, any of the, all the owners there. Did you get Tony to sign it? I am. If I had me a helicopter, I'd fly <laughs> over there to him, but I don't own a helicopter. But Tony Stewart, there's your call out, buddy. I've got a 2020 shirt that I want you on. You missed the 2019, but if you can maybe get to Kirby Strong 100 tomorrow night at Making Speedway, yeah, you can get on this shirt. But I have a 2020 shirt for you to sign, Mr. Tony Stewart. Okay, so that would be really cool to have all four of the, the principal owners of that. Uh, yes, sir. That's what I've tried for. So what what are you going to do with these shirts? What You've got all uh, of these autographs on there. You're tomorrow night. You're it for yourself. So what tomorrow we night, there's going to be a raffle. Uh, we're going to be walking around selling raffle tickets. It's a dollar a piece, okay. six for five. And half of the money is going to the Kirby Strong Foundation. Very nice. And the other half is going to the Victory Junction Camp, which is very dear to my heart. Let's talk about that Victory Junction Camp here. So this this is something that is out of North Carolina, right? Yes, it's a camp for critically ill children. It allows them to go uh, uh, fishing and boating, and they have horseback rides, uh, uh, swings, and stuff for the kids to play. And uh, these little kids that are sick and everything, and all their medical needs are met while they're at the camp. Okay. This, uh, this camp was created, looks like it says 2004, so it's been around for about 17 years now. Yes, right? yes. It's a well-known camp. Uh, uh, and the title has, over the years, it used to be called the Victory Junction Gang Camp. Okay. Well, they lost the word gang and camp. Now it's just a Victory Junction. So I... Uh, Chad Coltrane, he's the president of the camp. He loves all the ideas that I have coming up. And he said, go forward, Mark. I said, thank you, Mr. Coltrane. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we will be having this event tomorrow night at Macon, uh, the Kirby Strong Night. It's going to be it's gonna be a little bit cooler, so that's right. nice. You don't yep. have to worry about sweating it out. Just bring a jacket and bring a hoodie, and you'll be all right. And bring at least a dollar. 50-50 raffle. We will do the drawing for this tomorrow night. I yes, I'll have Mr. Larry Limbach reach in and draw the number, and then he can announce the number over the intercom. Well, good, because I don't want the pressures of having to select. No, one, we'll one, let one, Mr. One. Larry Limbach. He knows he's, he's a pressure man. He knows how to do it. He knows how to do it indeed. 
So you've also been working with, with Nikki Damery on the Kirby Strong uh, yes, Foundation. Yes, I've spoken to her on the phone several times, and we've sent messages back and forth. So uh, you, you've been interviewing her in the years gone by, talking I about I did her an interview two years ago. Okay. And we talked about doing another interview to get her message out there about cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. And that's what the camp does. They treat little kids that has cancer. And all their medical needs are met at the Victory Junction. Do those kids have to be uh, in that area? Or no, they, they come from everywhere. They okay. come from everywhere. So even around here? She can, me and Nikki, we talked about doing a kids to camp. They can speedway to the camp. Wow. Things coming up. Things are in the works for this here. I'm going to read this, this, this letter that came through here. This is from a couple of years ago. But uh, Pam, from the then known as Victory Junction Gang Camp, said that we're pleased to acknowledge that you are managing your first ever remote control race car to benefit the uh, camp. Grateful for your hard work in organizing the event, and thank you for those participating in the fundraiser for your generous commitment. So you are also involved in the RC racing car line of work. Yep. Here in town, okay. a portable racetrack I would set up and charge people to race the cars. And uh, do this RC race for the Victory Junction camp. I, Tony Stewart did not tell me to do it, but I got the idea of he did a, a junction in 2007 at Eldora with the big cars. Okay. So I just thought, well, I just wonder if anybody's ever done it with the little cars. I talked to Bobby Sargent. He talked to Ken Schrader. They sent me an application. I went and got big sponsors. I was on WAND TV News for that about 12 years ago. We've got more events lined up for the Victory Junction and the Kirby Strong. What sort of sponsors? Who have you been able to talk to? Who's <coughs> solidly behind you with these uh, with these promotions? Mr. Scott Bowers from Donna Graphics. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. And in the past, there has been uh, the RC Shack, um, VlogCafe.com, Yeti Those were the originals. Uh, then Ace Hardware, True Value Hardware, Napa, AutoZone, O'Reilly's. Those were associate sponsors for the door prizes. Okay. Now, with all of the things that have gone on, especially this year, how difficult has it been to uh, arrange for sponsors? Talking to Nikki yes, yesterday, you know, it took a while to get the Kirby Strong uh, event off the ground this year. Didn't know it was going to happen, but uh, how easy or how difficult has it been for you finding sponsors for this particular event? Well, with the COVID-19 crisis that's going on, everyone's really strapped down for money. It's hard to fork out money to advertise and do this and do that, but you just don't give up. You you know, you go to one door and it shuts while another door opens up. Keep trying. You do not give up. Who would you like to thank? What would you like to say to all those who have uh, benefited or helped out in any way with this uh, program and with these, these uh, ideas in which you've been able to put together? Thank you, Bobby Sargent, Ken Schrader, Tony Stewart, Kenny Wallace, Adam Mackey, Larry, Brett, Jeff, Debbie, and May. Thank you so much at Macon Speedway. Uh, you guys have been good to me. I've been going there since 1977. Okay. I'm going to be 60 years old in two days. Look at you. You're happy as can be. Buddy, I am. You see me glowing. This is Chef TV coming to you live <laughs> from the radio station at 93.5. And Mr. Brett sebastian has got me live right now. He's talking to his folks there on his uh, on his uh, Facebook Live or on his thing. Talk to us about the Shep TV. What is Shep TV that you're um, talking about on this? There used to be a movie one time called Ed TV. Okay. Where a TV crew followed him around for everyday daily life. I thought, well, Shep's always into something. Mark Prone's the good one. Shep is the one that's into the racing. Okay. He does whatever he can do to go racing. So I got Mark Crone and Shep were the same people, so don't nobody get confused or anything. So we're just having a good time. Okay. And that's for cancer patients, helping the little kids out, and we got more events coming up. All righty. Well, thank you again for coming in. We appreciate it. If we left anything else? No, we got it all covered. Thank you, Mr. Brett Sabowski. All right, Mark Crone. If you want to reach out to him or find out more information, see him on Facebook. His last name is spelled K-R-O-H-N. 
and you can learn more information there. Thanks again, Mark. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll take a break and come back. Game time continues right after these words. You're on 93.5 and 106.3 the game. All right. And just like that. Y'all get that? Yeah, we got another piece of history up here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of people who checked in. Right on. Let's do some waving, everybody. Y'all know I'm into this, and I thank all your help. All right, this is Mark Crone, Crone RC Racing, Chef TV. You want to watch, you got it.